Hey, what's up guys? I am Torvald with a Deimos today. This thing will be running T4 Exotics and Firestorms with ease. It's a lot of fun to fly, very interactive, and you make some good money running T4s with it. It is not too expensive, coming in at under 800 million ISK. There's the fit right there. I will put this fit in the description below for you so you can uh, copy and paste that and put it in the game. The only thing to note here, those two Abyssal Magnetic Field Stabilizers, nothing crazy there they're just tech 2 with um with unstable mutaplasmids rolled with pretty good rolls um, i have a stockpile of those so i always like to throw those on ships the first room i'm going to show you here is the le shack room to basically give you a rundown of how this ship works um approach overheat the micro warp drive get damage on as soon as possible you'll see that here with the um, with the le shacks we've got now, first target here is Starving Lashax, and the thing with this ship is you have to get, there, there's no long range damage, you have to get right on them, which usually with Starving Lashax is a huge issue because of how much they nude out, but with this ship, you just gotta put, overheat that micro warp drive. If you need to overheat the tank, um, you shouldn't have too much initial issues uh, where you need to overheat the tank, but as soon as you get in range, get that web on them, get the, get the damage on them, and burn down those Lashaks as quickly as possible. No craziness there. No, no, you know, it's, it's the easiest tactic. Approach F1. Do that. Get damage on them. Um, you can see the cap is not doing too badly there. We're hovering around the 50%. We've got one starving Lashak down. So no issues. Um, if you're unfortunate enough to get five starving Lashaks or something crazy like that, same tactic get as close to them as possible get as much damage on them as possible and burn them down but that is the lashak room um, once you kill them there's nothing crazy there nothing you know you just get on them get that uh get that web on them get those guns on them and burn them down as quickly as possible it's not that mu not that hard it's just a matter of doing it as quickly as possible usually you'll burn through lashak rooms pretty quickly in under four minutes they're nice rooms they can be challenging they can be quite challenging but overall they're pretty easy um the second room i'm going to show you here is the vedmac room um harrowing vedmac just the harrowing not harrowing vila which um the reason i wanted to show you this is because vedmacs do the most amount of damage once they build up and here we've got three harrowing vedmacs um same thing with this ship same thing get that web on them get damage on them and blast them to pieces um here there are no scary damavix to deal with there are no ghosting or anchoring or tangling damavix so i'm able to go straight for the harwing vedmax uh, one thing you'll note is you can overheat your web to get that extra couple kilometers on there to be able to reach out these guys they do mic warp drive so catching them is important and as soon as you catch them it's just a matter of destroying them that's it there's nothing crazy you just keep approaching them whatever you got to do um if you do get into a scenario where your tank starts to struggle and they've got a lot of built up damage on you, you can try and use the micro warp drive and get away as long as there's no anchorings or entanglers on you. Um, just get out of their damage if you're taking too much damage. But usually, and you can see here, me, I'm able to kill them. I'm able to basically out DPS them and bring them down faster than they can bring me down. Um, this thing is cap stable, so I'm just leaving the stuff running, especially with the micro warp drive off your cap stable. But yeah, just be aware of your gun range and make sure you're always in range i keep the uh keep that ammo loaded basically because the void or the antimatter has such a short um optimal range that i wanted to give myself a little bit extra range to be able to take these guys down um you can see the the distance i'm hovering at but the the void and antimatter um, they do a lot more dps so it's kind of a trade-off if you, you know, if you can stay on top of it and maintain your range and keep that damage on them, get that, get that shorter range, uh, ammo going on them and kill them a lot faster. You should, I, I should have done it here, but I was already on them, already killing them. So I just kept my, um, kept that ammo loaded. Um, and that's it. You can see my tank didn't struggle at all with the three Vedmax on me. Now, granted, again, this was without any other challenges or any other obstacles such as ghosting or tangling or anchoring uh, Damavix. So that'll kind of be the thing you have to decide whenever you get into one of these rooms and you see all those Damavix. Do you want to go for the Damavix first or do you want to go for the Vedmax first? Typically I take out the trouble, the, the troubling Damavix first, whatever ones do the most amount of, you know, have the biggest negative effect like anchorings are a huge pain because you got to worry about getting uh, scrammed and whatnot, not be able to get away. Ghostings will hurt your application a lot. 
So things to consider. Um, you can blast those Danvix down pretty quickly when you get on top of them. So one thing to keep in mind there. Uh, this next room is the Caribidus Tyrannos room. Um, every other room, it's a matter of approaching dead on at zero, burning straight to them. This one's a little bit different. So we've got these Entanglers and the Spearfisher, which do the, uh, the scrambling. This one, you're going to kind of... You're going to, you want to get on Crivitus Tyrannos at zero, but at the same time, you don't want to get caught by all these entanglers and the spearfishers. So you're, you know, you're a sitting duck. So basically what you're going to do is just burn kind of around all the, all the, uh, the little cruisers to get to the, the Caribidus Tyrannos. And a second, I've got the web on her. There are entangling Damavix, which are still an issue because being webbed while trying to stay on top of Caribidus Tyrannos is kind of annoying. Um, but just kind of play it. You've got your micro warp drive to play with and you can just keep doing that. But yeah, once you get on her, it's easy as that. You just bring her down. Um, if you're having issues with the entanglers slowing you down enough to let Karen get some damage on you, go ahead and switch to them and bring them down. Once she's down, it's just a matter of approaching these cruisers and getting damage on them and burning them down one by one. Uh, really no problems here. It is time consuming but once you get on the battleship and you burn her down and then you get on these cruisers it goes pretty quickly um chasing these cruiser around this you know this definitely adds up um just be aware of your time and you know range is important you can see here i'm not doing the whole range thing very well i have my mark mic warp drive and not using it but that is the curvitus tyrannos room um that is it. Just get around those cruisers, get on top of the battleship, and get that web on her, and you are good to All go. All right, that is it for the demos. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and hopefully you get out there and try this ship out. It's a lot of fun. It does great. It can make good money. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down and ask me. I'll be happy to answer anything, and uh, I will see you in the abyss.